YouTube behind the scenes. YouTube behind the scenes, man. It's weird. It's weird being behind the camera. Is it recording? Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Amphitrite. Today, we're going to be talking about the Amphitrite Pro. Today, we're going to be talking about the Hey everybody, welcome to AmphiTV. My name is Alex Schwartz and I have Joey here, who Joey is actually a new amputee. Three who, months. Yeah, three months from a motorcycle incident. Yeah. And he has like the best attitude. And the thing that's amazing is the reason why I know him is solely because of my videos. Because when he was in the hospital, he was looking up because he had the option of amputating. So he was looking up other amputees on YouTube and Googling them stuff like that so he came across my videos and a couple others and yeah so he actually decided to reach out to me and very shortly later yeah we are now down here yesterday in the Dallas, day before Texas. yesterday yeah and so we're now down here in Dallas because down here I'm in St. Louis and we also I was introduced to Jim who's behind the camera right now you can say hi Jim hi, <laughs> hi. <Yeah. laughs> so yeah, we're all here having a great time and just connecting and it's really an awesome thing to be able to connect through social media because of some content that I put out a couple months ago and yeah, I'm super happy that I was able to help him and we have some clips now of uh, us three kind of talking and you'll be able to see the kind of connection that we're having here. So, check it out. Boom. Swimming last night, pretty pumped, and thought we'd just throw it down. Um, we, we all know you got hit on a motorcycle. Yeah. We all know that um, both of us did. Yeah. 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 All right, so here you are. You have fibular. Fibular, have Amelia. Yeah. We and, all butcher that. And I, yeah, and I texted him and I literally said, I said, so you have tibular from a merger? <laughs> like, like, from a, like, and I like, so and he was like, yeah, you totally, I was like, I probably butchered it. He's like, you totally butchered <laughs> yeah, it. Like, I, I, yeah, I was like, wrong was bone and everything. But like, it was so funny. But, yeah. Yeah, and then on top of that, PFFD too, which is uh, the shortening of the femur. Or the yeah. shortening of the femur. Yeah. I thought my life was over, you know, like I was complaining so much in the hospital and like, it's just so crazy, like getting to meet other people. It's super rad to be able to see how well you guys get along too. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you got it down, made it down here. I mean, just yesterday we were talking on the phone. Yeah, I mean, it was a pleasure for me to be able to, you know, meet somebody. Yeah, dude. I was so excited. I literally was like, I was like, okay, so I commented and I was like, he will not see this fast enough. Yeah. And my freaking like heart was pounded because he posted a video. I think it was like the first time in like a couple, couple yeah, weeks, two months. Yeah. Two months yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I was like, you know, I hit him up on, on his social media profile and I was like, dude, like, you know, and he responded and it was oh my god like and I was just like, I'm not trying to sound creepy, but will you like like what's your phone number? Let me call you. Like I'm gonna get this dude to call you too. Like we're gonna conference call, like I promise you I'm an amputee, we can FaceTime if you want to prove I'm not a weirdo, which which probably made it sound yeah, which probably made me sound more weird. Dig in the hole. You know, like everybody's got their family as a strong support system, but it's like like your family, like they can only do so much, you know, like yeah. they, they can never understand truly like what you're going through just because, and you never want them to, because you never want them to have to go through what you've gone through, you know, mm -hmm. but at the same time, like, like you're, you feel more, more at home kind of with other amputees, especially since the fact that we have such similar stories, like almost, <laughs> almost the only thing separating our stories is just the fact that like, Yours is your left leg and mine is my right leg. We match like, the mirror. Yeah. And I'm just happy too that like I was able to connect with you like yeah. even knowing you. Yeah. Like, from the content that I put out, I was able to help you in some Exactly, you know, yeah. I was sitting in the hospital bed watching you run with cheetahs. I was watching you not skipping leg day, right? Watch that <laughs> yeah. video where you were sitting in there in the gym working out. I was like, damn man, this guy is just like he's just going like going on. He's just living his life. And like at that point for the first couple of videos I didn't know yet that you were like your congenital, like so you've been yeah. an amputee since birth. But like that's even more inspiring in some ways because it's like you've you've just been you know given this adversity that you had to face your yeah. entire life. And you know I didn't even meet another MT for 20 years, which you is know? crazy. Yeah, well, that's I was so MPT, crazy. I didn't yeah. Yeah. nobody was in my school. Yeah, I never really ran into anybody or talked to anybody when I was in the hospital. You know, I mean I was younger, so it wasn't like sparking up any conversations about it. It's incredible when I get to see somebody congenital that's gone 20 years without meeting another amputee. 
Yeah, that's crazy. And then within a few months, he's able to not only meet another amputee before he decided to amputate. Yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> I got able, to meet Tommy the day before, so it was like able to see your video the night before. Yeah. Know, okay. And then here we are sitting together on a couch. Yeah. Yeah. Right? The whole reason we're sitting together today is because we've been able to get together and ultimately use our own adaptive journeys, like each one of us, yeah. to be able to kind of grow together. Definitely. Mm -hmm. That's a trip, man, because we get along. Yeah. You know what? We vibe. Yeah, yeah. There, there's no forcing going on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I was, uh, that was something I, I was like going through all the research and watching the videos. A lot of people talk about. They're like, yeah, you know, I try to go to support groups. They try to set you up with some people that it's just yeah. like I wouldn't have been friends with this person before I had an amputation. So, mm -hmm. or Definitely, you know, yeah. yeah, you were literally telling me about that. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like it's it's cool to to meet other amputees that that you click with on a personal yeah. level. You know what I mean? Like if you all, if we all had legs, we would still be friends. Yeah. Like if we met, you know. Definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. Seeing other amputees and stuff was a big was a big thing for me when I was still hit, sitting in the hospital bed because they had told me, you know, they were like, "Hey, your options are like." Yeah, this was before you were actually amputated. Yeah, they were yeah. like, "You can, you can, you can save it and and do limb salvage and be in the hospital for months and months and months and you'll never run again, you'll never jump again, you know, you might be able to walk like you're not gonna be able to stand for very long." Yeah. Mm. So like a really cool thing was like Tommy came in and the fact that he just like walked right in and like he's just like you know. Like he's living his life. Like yeah, I didn't see any type of. It wasn't like a big yeah, day it's like holy <laughs> shit. Like this dude's got one leg, and he's like, he's just like yeah. before I had one leg. Yeah, but, you know, everybody's pretty much different. Yeah, yeah, but you know, then I I saw that, and then um that kind of that spun off. Like once I had like I had made the decision to to amputate at that point, and then my my hours before I was up just all night because he told me we talked around like 8 p.m. that night. My doctor was like. Yeah. You know, all right, so you've decided to amputate. I'm like, yeah, he's like, I'll get you in at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So immediately, you know, the first thing I did all night long, I didn't sleep, I did research, started looking up amputees online. I ran into you online, right? So watching your videos and watching how, like, you know, you're just like living life. And like, yeah. and I'm over here thinking my life is over as, yeah. a, as a below the knee. It's a shocking, yeah, as a single below the knee. Yeah, it's as a, a shocking single thing, below the knee. You're like, oh, you want to take my leg? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it was so, crazy. Like, it was crazy, not even just that, like, it was like, I, I had to actually come to that decision, you know what I mean? I had to be yeah. the one to say that, because yeah. the doctors were like, like, yeah, let's try to save it, man. Like, you know, you got two toes that are twitching, so we'll cut those tendons and see if we can wire those in and give you... That sounded like a lot of work, right? Yeah, and yeah. then they, and they wanted to cut out muscle from this leg, and I was like, dude, like... like yeah. So yeah. basically, you were able to come to a decision yeah. based oh. on... The cards that were on the table mm -hmm. that it was time to amputate and move on yeah and right. i and i saw that like like i said i saw saw yeah, tommy I saw alex and then later on tommy introduced me to you and and it's just like being able to see even still sitting in the hospital bed like the doctors what the doctor said to they were like you'll be in the hospital for like 18 months yeah. doing surgery after surgery and like mm -hmm. And, and even then, like if an infection happens, which they were, I was actually already showing signs of infection in my leg, uh, then they would have just, all that would have been for nothing. Like they would have just had to cut it off anyway. And like, I would have gone through all that. I would have lost muscle in this strong leg. Yeah. And, and that was a big thing. So like, and, and they said like, you know, 18 months surgeries or possibly two months and you'll be out of the hospital. You'll be walking around, you'll be jumping, running, all, all that stuff that you were doing before, you'll be doing again in like two months. And you feel all like you made the right choice? And I do, yeah, I feel, I, I there's there's always that, you know, like you think back, but like I, I immediately remind myself, like I'm like, ah, oh, dude, like what, what if, you know, like what if they could have saved my leg? But then I'm like, oh, well, I wouldn't have been able to run. I wouldn't have been able to jump. Yeah. I would have just had a right. meat prosthetic. Yeah. Like, and I, you know, I've talked to some people that had it salvaged too, and some of them said it's painful and stuff. Yeah, they told me that. They were like, uh, they're like you, you're gonna probably have some chronic pain, and you'll probably be on pain pills for the rest of your life. And I was like, that's that doesn't sound like anything I'm interested in. That sounds dangerous. That sounds very yeah, dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. So from there, you amputated. I did. What's yeah. your amputation date? My amputation date was December 29th. My admittance to the hospital was December 15th, and between that time came to came to the decision on the 28th. The night of the 28th, I decided, and 6 a.m. Okay, so December 29th is your amputation date. Yes, December sir. 15th was your hospital. Yep. 
Half a month to decide. <laughs> yeah. You have plenty of time to sit with that one. I yeah. went through seven and a half months of that, and I promise you that two weeks later would have cut some time off, you know, my recovery. You know, I'd be walking a little bit longer by now. <laughs> but it's the journey. It's yeah. the decision. And I'm grateful that you got to make the decision because for me, I know that it's a big deal to elect to amputate. Yeah. I talk to people and they get to look at me and go, wait, you elected? Yeah. yeah. And some people, there's mixed feelings about it. But the truth be told, for me, my truth, my journey, I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm an amputee and I can walk all day today. 